may be a bit biased on the topic, but we think local cities that have uh, professional management combined with uh, elected officials who really have the pulse of the community is a really efficient and effective way to you know, manage a city and create a great environment. So, so the, the California City Management Foundation is all about the promotion of exemplary city management across the state of California. We believe strongly that a professional city manager teamed with a strong elected city council and in partnership with the community is a key to the success of local government. The importance of having a, a good city manager really is that uh, the council needs to have somebody on the scene day in and day out carrying out their policies and making sure that the organization is moving in that in the direction they want to see it go in. Uh, the key is that, in, in our view, is to have really well-trained uh, professionals, professionals who really ascribe to uh, uh, high levels of, of integrity and uh, in, in our profession, and the uh, ICMA has a code of ethics. And managers who are both very professional and skilled, but also have high uh, integrity and abide by our code of ethics, we think that combination can be very effective for our community. Uh, most council members are part-time, they have other jobs, other responsibilities. They're really the policy board and uh, they set the direction for the city, but it's the city manager who's the chief executive officer and carries out that direction. And with the help of a lot of staff, uh, they get the job done and they're held accountable by the city council for doing just that. Uh, here in Bell, um, we thought that it was extremely important to have uh, a top caliber professional city manager become a part of the team with the community and the council here to bring Bell back and reestablish a quality local government here. Well, I think the, determining what their fiscal condition is and adopting a plan for dealing with the most serious problems that they uncover, that the manager uncovers and shares with the city council. They're going to have to make some uh, probably painful decisions about what their taxes are, about what their spending priorities are, decisions which city councils all over the state are having to make. So certainly any, any individual who takes on a leadership role in a community that's been through the kinds of challenges that Bell has, has an immediate need to establish uh, credibility and transparency and access with the community. I think that's one of the key challenges that a new city manager here will face, in addition to some of the severe uh, fiscal and financial challenges that the city is faced with. Well, Arnie Croce, again, picking up from Ken Hampion, will be in a better position to really make that assessment and decide what are the next best steps going forward. But clearly, based on my conversation with them, finance is a, a very big issue. Uh, really, the financial situ situation needs to be carefully assessed. It uh, needs to be determined what exactly is the financial condition of the city, and then appropriate steps need to be taken in order to stabilize that. Well, there's a lot of challenges, uh, you know, things that need to be unraveled that have taken place over the past 20 years. The city needs to get a clear picture of its finances. Uh, there were no audits completed for the past couple of years. Uh, the city has a number of outstanding um, bond issues that they, uh, you know, need to get a good understanding on in terms of the use of those bonds. Um, you know, there are compensation issues that the council and the community are very much interested in looking at. There's really a lot of basic organizational infrastructure work to be done. Right now the city you know, has only one department head. Um, there are hardly any administrative policies, human resource policies, so there really is a lot of basic organizational infrastructure work that I think will will be a, a big part of my focus. And then there's working with the uh, city council to help. You know, this is a brand new city council, all elected together in April. Uh, none of them have been council members before. And uh, helping them come together as a policy making team and as an oversight body for the city will be a big priority also. Well, a lot of them it has to do with the bonds. Uh, all these bonds that they took uh, for the previous administration have left us with, uh, with debt, not just short term, but long term and I think this would be for generations to come 
Uh, and a lot of the residents have to understand that these the bonds were taken by the previous administration. So we have to figure out a way of how to work around it to kind of minimize the tax levies because we are one of the uh, highest tax uh, tax levy on, on our residents in L.A. County. And that's really the most significant challenges that we have. And I think we have that's what all five council members have to do to work hard to fix that issue. And I think today will be one of the days that we'll see what the outcome will be. Uh, clearly, the whole issue about reestablishing trust in the community through what we call transparency, which making the work of the city very clear, obvious, and open to the public uh, by community engagement, by making sure the public knows how to get involved with their community and doesn't get, get, and does get engaged with the community. From my limited experience, and that includes attending one uh, you know, city council study session and uh, you know, seeing people that showed up at the, at the uh, press conference today, and there is a very active uh, community in Bell, and nothing speaks of that activism more than the community that came together in March and recalled the previous city council and installed a new city council. So there is a very high level of interest in the community in their city government, and that's good. Since the scandal broke back in uh, July of 2010, uh, a lot of residents have been showing up to council meetings. Till today, we're still receiving, having around 80 to uh, over 80 residents that are showing up to the council meetings. And that shows that a lot of civic engagement is still uh, involved here in the city of Bell. Uh, a lot of people, you know, want to be involved. And what we're doing now is being transparent. And with being transparent, it could be good or it can be bad. And at this instant, you can notice, as you notice, uh, a lot of people are angry, but that's what transparency is all about. <laughs>